Are you a woman looking for a dynamic and rewarding career in the tech industry? Or are you a woman who spent some time around in the tech industry and now is looking to really pivot your career? Look no further than DevOps. DevOps is not just a buzzword anymore. It's a career path that is taking the tech industry by storm. It is a great opportunity for women to break into leadership roles and create positive impact. In this video, I will show you my perspective on why DevOps is a great career choice for women. I will do this across various experience level as a fresher from 0 to 5 years, 5 to 15 years and then 15 years in plus. This video is based on my experience working in DevOps for the past about 20 plus years across the world and my understanding of women which I have been very fortunate to be surrounded by all my life. Let's get started. Let's look at a couple of factors which makes DevOps an ideal career choice for women. And I'm not talking about technology skills here. The assumption is that you already have or are willing to acquire as a fresher the technical skills that are required to make an entry into DevOps, stay there and thrive there. This video is focused on the skills allied to technology. And it's not that men do not have this skill. You know, some of us have really worked on these skills for over the last couple of years. But these traits come naturally to women. A disclaimer, this video is about my current understanding of women. Being a highly complex and an almost incomprehensible subject to fathom completely I've taken some creative liberties in this video. Please accept them as an act of innocence and an honest attempt on good faith of your tribe. So let's start with the first section, zero to five years, plethora of tools and technologies. Typical requirements from a DevOps role in the zero to five years category in any large enterprise, there is a plethora of tools and technologies out there, starting from legacy systems like mainframe, IPCO to the traditional Java's, .NET's, WebLogic, IIS of the world, to the more recent, maybe the Node.js, maybe the Docker's, uh, the Kubernetes, all the way up to the cloud, the serverless and stuff like that. A DevOps engineer is expected to quickly learn enough about all of these tools and technologies to be able to successfully build, deploy and debug issues related to all of this. Alignment to women. A woman is naturally learning new skills all the time as she transitions in her life from a daughter to a student, to a wife, a daughter-in-law, a mother, a mother-in-law. All of these roles require different skill sets and different areas of expertise. These skills are what enables a woman to lead a successful and peaceful life. Number two, always on the go. Typical requirements from DevOps role responsible for upkeep of production instances and a DevOps engineer could be called up at 2 a.m. when an application or a site is down or has significant priority one issues. Alignment to women, responsible for upkeep and maintenance of a one and a half year old. Her body clock wakes her up at 1.50 a.m. because she knows the kid will feel hungry at 2 a.m. and just before the kid is ready to start throwing the tantrums, the milk is there. Number three, changing priorities. Typical requirements from a DevOps role. As anyone in DevOps knows, life is never constant. What's important today might not be important tomorrow and something more critical will pop up. And you have to immediately shift and adopt without even missing a heartbeat. 
Example, a P1 issue in production today to debugging a memory leak in the legacy stack yesterday to a Kubernetes scaling problem the day before. All in three days in a DevOps engineer's life. Alignment to women. A critical presentation at work today. A kid's birthday yesterday. And family get together day before yesterday. All in three days of a woman's life. A woman is naturally adapt to changing priorities. Experience range two from five to about 15 years of experience. Point one, context switching. Typical requirements from a DevOps role. While resolving a developer environment's issue, you get interrupted by a team's message for a build break, which is interrupted by an email for the boss to go and discuss DevOps requirements for a new team. Alignment to women. Women are natural multitasker. In a typical day, a mom will be cooking, taking a phone call, feeding a toddler, and yet cracking jokes on the same call, all at the same time. Men typically get flummoxed when you ask them two questions as they're writing a Perl script. Point number two, motivating teams. Typical requirements from a DevOps role. Let's say your organization is focused on a DevOps transformation, which organization today isn't, right? As part of the mandate, you have to increase the DevOps adoption by say 20-25%. And one parameter to get that is to onboard five more teams or squads onto the DevOps pipelines. This involves talking to the teams, explaining them the benefits of a CI-CD pipeline and the entire DevOps approach, showing them the success cases and gently coercing them in this direction to have the Kool-Aid. Alignment to woman. Have you ever seen a woman gently coerce her toddler or even a teenager to have her veggies? She talks to them, tells them the benefits of having greens, shows them Popeye as the success case and gently coerces them to have the cool vegetables. I believe women are already pros at gentle coercion. Whether it's with the kids, the husbands, or the in-laws. <laughs> you know what I mean. Number three, diversity in roles of DevOps in 2023. Typical requirements from a DevOps role. In 2023, DevOps area has a bunch of roles in its gamut, which can cater to your career plans as a woman. For example, going beyond a typical DevOps engineer or an architect or evangelist role, let me talk about some other roles in this area today. DevRel or a developer relations, a person who's responsible for maintaining relationship between your organization's developers and the external third party vendors, um, the external customers, the external clients and the external dev community in general. Number two, community builder. This is a person who's responsible for building a community out there in the world to use your product and to give feedback. Now, this could be an open source version of your commercial product or any such methodology. Developer evangelist. This is a person who's got extensive development experience, maybe 15, 20 years, and now has moved into an evangelism role from the developer standpoint. What she does is to ensure that the interest of the developers is kept in mind as the organization creates its own technology charter. Some examples of this, how will developer productivity go up? How will the developer experience go up? How do you make sure that the tools and the processes are brought in to simplify a developer's work so that they can focus on development tasks without having to worry about the allied processes and the red tapeism. Another role which is now getting into DevOps is the tech content creator role, where you work very closely with either the DevRel or the community builder within your organization. Alignment to women. A woman's career needs changes as she evolves in life and in her career. Perhaps she wants to continue doing technology work, or perhaps she wants a slightly hands-off role to work as maybe a community level. Perhaps. She's built a solid technology base over the years and now wants to work at an evangelist level. Or perhaps 
now she wants to work alone as an individual contributor maybe as a tech writer devops can offer all of this and more also several of these roles today are remote first which can be a great advantage for women who want to focus on family or other commitments for a bit category 3 15 years plus experience point 1 leading the pack typical requirements from a devops role at 15 plus years experience you are typically expected to create and execute a devops strategy at a large scale this means leading change across the organization silos and dealing with egos at a respective levels as you can imagine this change is a lot more than technology it's about leading the pack alignment to women a woman is naturally aligned to lead her home pack driving alignment across laws in laws extended family and a much more and most of the time she does this flawlessly without even breaking a sweat imagine any big family function and you see these skills in all of her glory point number 2 tough decision making typical requirements in a devops role as john engler famously said you win by working hard making tough decisions and building coalitions this perfectly sums up a senior devops role devops transformation is bound to have a couple of tough decisions whether it's about the team their roles or responsibilities the organization culture the ways of working upskilling or the overall change management gamut since devops programs deal with a lot of change management along with technical solutioning it's imperative to back them up with sound tough decision making that's how you make an enterprise ship pivot and tread faster alignment to women a woman's life is based on tough decisions hopefully tough decisions taken by herself and not somebody else on her behalf a woman understands the value and trade offs of tough decisions i hope by now you realize that a woman can easily adapt to devops roles because that is what they naturally do it's just a case of transmuting your abilities into the work environment which is sometimes much more easier than a 40 year old man struggling to care for his team you know what i mean if you are a woman watching this please introspect for some time if devops can be a viable career pivot for you if you know a woman who should watch this video please recommend it to her in any case forward and spread this video to all enterprising women that you know of in the comment section please let me know which part of this video resonated with you see you in the next one cheers